Alrighty everybody, I'm um, sorry for not making a tutorial in quite a while, so today we are going to be doing some basic things in Android Studio about number pickers, so just basically showing you how to set it up, very simple. Uh, by the way, more tutorials coming soon as I haven't made one in a while, so once you start up your project, you're going to want to go into your design view, so scroll down a little bit, you're going to get to, where is it, I believe, yeah, expert, so you're going to drag over number picker now you drag it in it's not actually going to look like this in your program it'll look a little different but that's just how it looks for now uh, it'll look a little bit excuse me there, a little bit more modern so I believe you can change it to make it look like this so I might include a tutorial on that later on so but for today, I'm just going to show you how to program the number picker a little bit. So we're going to name our number picker. Number, we'll name it actually pick number one. So if you were going to have multiple, you could do pick number two or whatever you're going to do it for. So once you do that, you're going to come over to my activity, activity .java, and you are going to click or not click, what am I thinking today? So you're going to declare your variables up here right under public class. So under on create right here, you're going to want to do okay sorry about that, so right up here you're going to want to do declare your variables, so I'm just going to do this just for a little reference, so number picker you will have to import number picker in a minute no picker equal null so that's your number picker right there now it's gonna want you to import that always for so just import that real quick right there so what is it again you're on Windows, I know you can do this pretty easy, I just I don't really know the key commands for Mac somehow. Um, so, I'll just do it. Dot view dot widget. Alright, no, widget. I'm so sorry, um, number picker. Just haven't made a video in a while, so... There you go, you've imported the number picker widget and you have dealt with your variables right here. So we'll actually space that out a little bit so we know what's going on. So after that, you're going to want to come down here to protected void on create. Right down here. And uh, we'll just set up the number picker real quick. So. no picker so that's the variable we set right up here equal number picker find view by ID so we're finding our view right here like we're finding the ID of the number picker which we set earlier which was pick a number here let's check that real quick so our ID that which we set and we're founding right now is pick number one. So R dot ID dot pick number one. So it automatically found it for us. So that's very helpful. So now here's where you can customize it a little bit. So no picker. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. Equal or dot set max value. So now you can enter in whatever number you want to be your max value. Um, if you want infinite, I believe you just leave it blank, but just set it to a high number. So I'm going to set mine at a thousand. So say I was doing a little scoreboard app, a project I'm working on right now. In fact, I could set that to a thousand. I doubt they're actually going to score a thousand points anyway. So there you go. There's your max value. Now, no picker for your min value here dot set min value and we'll just do our minimum value zero do whatever you want 
and finally no picker dot set wrap selector wheel and we're gonna set that to false now if you want to set it to true see what it does full around with it by all means go ahead but I would set it to false if I were you so now we're gonna run it and uh, once it's loaded I'll show you what's going on in a minute Alrighty guys, so we are back. Um, sorry, the <laughs> the number in the emulator is a little big. It's because I was on my second monitor over here, which I'm dragging it to right now. So here's our number picker. So now if we press the up button, it'll move up. Very simple. And yeah, works just fine. Move down. Now if you set the min value below zero, which we didn't, you could have like negatives or whatever you wanted there. And if you did not do wrap selector wheel false, then what you could actually do, I believe, I forget exactly, there would be the down arrow here and I could click it to go to a thousand, which was our max value. So that's about it. More tutorials coming soon. I'm sorry this video wasn't very good. It was kind of brief, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.